Hey everyone, and on this tutorial, I will be showing you how to soft touch a picture, such as soften it or make it a little bit better, as some people would say. And on the side of note, I would like to say I'm very sorry that I haven't been uploading any videos lately, and hopefully, I'll be uploading more videos probably. And I'm a little bit sick right now, but it's okay. Um, here's one of the examples that we will be doing right here as you can see you can see the difference and here's the other example that we will be doing okay let's start with this one I'm gonna go delete that okay I'm using Taylor Swift as a um, example so what we you would like to do is press Control J in Adobe Photoshop CS1 through 5. I'm using CS5 right now, so just press Control J, and then it should make a new copy layer. <coughs> now on the new copy layer, you would like to press um, on the menu Filter to Blur to Galistic Blur. I really don't know how to pronounce it. Now blur it until um, you it's kind of blurish but you still got the shape of it well shape of her um, body and stuff so I would like to put 0 point, uh, 4.0 sorry about that and then I would like to double click the copy layer until the layer style pops up for blending options um, I would suggest put overlay overlay would cause it like that but you can change it too, such as lightning, uh, lighten, screen, and other stuff. But overlayer is the most suggested one. So as overlayer, you just press OK, and there you go. If you think it's a little bit too um, strong, you could change the um, the opposite, however you pronounce it, like downer and downer. Some people like to put 50, like me. Or some of uh, people that I know like to put 70, but then most people just put 100 because it adds more color and stuff to it. And for the second example, we will be doing this. To do this, you would like to make a new layer of the original. And once that's done, you would like to go to Filter, Artistic, and then put Neon Glow. <laughs> okay. Um, for the glow size, you can put anything. I would suggest 4 and glow brightness 18. You could choose the color that you think that will fit into the picture, like gray, black, but I would like to put yellowish. And then just press OK. You can change the glow brightness and you can change the glow size. Anything works fine, by the way. I'm just going to change it to 6 and 6 for glow size and 21 for glow brightness press ok and it should look a little bit weird you like to double click it and press overlay it should look like that and here's how it should look like with the overlay settings uh, settings let's put that down and then you could put the blur layer that you made under the green one to make this to make it yeah, like this, but you put it on top. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Well, yeah, it would. But yep, this is how you do it. And then I added a little border to it, which is really easy. Just make a new layer. Control Shift N. Um, go to your toolbar and press the rectangular tool. You like to zoom in on the picture. go by one pixel by one pixel whoops and you like to go down select inverse right click and press select inverse and then you like to choose the color black for the border and voila you're done so here's how you soften up the picture or add a little bit details and then you could always use some brushes 
that you added on your own just for the heck of it and like that well I want to just need some brushes but just keep it original like this so thank you for watching comment rate and subscribe thank you bye